Hello friends, welcome to the part 2 of to do app creation and if you haven't watched the part 1 then you can check my description. I added the part 1 video link so check it now. You can see this is our to do list that we created in part 1 but if I start the server again it doesn't make any sense. Here you can see all of our previous items are gone. So for that, first we have to install Mongoose and PMI Mongoose. Press enter here. Mongoose is an object data modeling library. For MongoDB and Node.js, it manages relationships between data and it also helps us by providing schema validation. First, we require the mongoose inside this app.js file. So, where mongoose require mongoose then let's create database in mongodb so mongoose dot connect mongodb here i pass the location so 27017 and our database name that is to do list db the name is totally up to you now let's create schema in mongoose a schema represents the structure of a particular document so const item schema here we pass only strings so I write name string then after create model a mongoose model is a wrapper on the mongoose schema const item is equal to mongoose item and Providing our item schema. Now this array is not required because we are applying database. This i1 doesn't make any sense here because we remove the array. But before removing it, let's create instance of this model item 1 new item and our schema is in string format so I write here column Paste here two times. You can write here anything. Let's grab all of this item in our singular array. So, const t is equal to item 1, item 2, item 3, and 
then to add this inside our model i using insert many so insert many d and i write here callback function for any kind of error This is just for our checking purpose. Otherwise, console.log successfully saved. items to database if you want to check this collection then go inside your mongodb server so i hope you already download mongodb database inside your machine then go inside program files then mongodb server open this and if I write here show DBS that means display over databases and here you can see to do list database is added now and I want to move inside that so use to do list DB so I switch inside my this database then right here show collections here you can see items are now display as collection and this is no sql database so there is no like table here we are working with collections inside this get method first we find which items are already in database so whenever our user open our app it will display the previous items so first we have to find that inside our database so I use this find method inside the callback function I pass a variable name f then console.log F. Here you can see I1 is not defined. So first I want to cut this and paste. And instead of this I1, write F. So it will display the items that we want to found. There was a typo. So our database is dropped now. And all of our previous items that we added dynamically that are gone now. So our database is empty. Inside this get method, I pass a condition like if we can't find any item so length is equal to zero then display this by default so cut this and paste here otherwise I display render items that means if the length is zero of our database then the items that we by default added will display otherwise it will only get the items that we render save the file here if i refresh it doesn't get back to this home page so for that 
I want to redirect to home you can see by default items are displayed now because our database is empty so it will call this function insert many then inside this post method let us remove this i1 and create the document of our items write const item is equal to new item and inside this name that means inside our schema we are passing this i user enter value then use this save method here so it will automatically save inside our database and render to our web page if we even close our server refresh the page let's add lunch you can see it is added successfully now and if i close my server start again refresh the page it works now because our mongodb database is added successfully inside this application now the time is come to add the delete route inside our app.js file so with the help of that if we click on this particular checkbox then the item will get deleted so inside this list.ejs for this checkbox i write on change so it will automatically change whenever the form is submit because you can see here for adding an item we are clicking on the plus button so it get changed but for this checkbox i providing here so whenever the form is submit or checkbox is selected we pass the action to this delete route let's add our new method so app dot post delete this is callback function for our requests and responses So I want to print the particular checkbox is selected so it will get from my body so if I save the file click on this food here you can see only parentheses are show not showing the particular item or checkbox on so Similar here, we are applying name to this input. We are applying name to this checkbox, like name is equal to checkbox, so it will apply this to input. Now I select this particular item, and inside here, you can see checkbox is selected. By selecting this checkbox, we want to delete these particular items from this web page and from our database also. So, for that, inside our list.ejs, pass the value in EGS format. So, percentage. equal to new list item inside we pass our particular item dot underscore id so basically it will get 
our MongoDB ID. So each and every list item has its individual ID. So before deleting them, first we have to select the particular ID. So here you can see my checkbox selected ID is this. Save the file and here select our particular model that is item and this is a function that is find by id and remove so we can remove the item from our database here pass our checkbox so request dot body dot checkbox and then provide our callback function so if there is no error it will display the message successfully deleted then refresh the page select any particular checkbox and here we get the message the item is successfully deleted inside our database but we also want to delete the items inside our web page so for that we have to redirect to our slash route so i send this response to our slash route that means home page so now save the file refresh the page and if i select on this you can see the items are now get deleted so this is it guys we completed the project and this is actual looks like to do list application i hope you follow the same path as me and get your project done while programming if you got any error then check my description i added the github code link of this part 2 so you can simply copy the code inside your computer and if you really like this project then give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and bye bye